Cheryl Allen, there are dozens of LGBTQ plus bars in Chicago, but data shows that there is a bar decline nationwide and here locally. Experts say that could mean fewer spaces for some in the community, especially for those with diverse backgrounds. We have had the experience of going into bars in you know in our community and not necessarily feeling welcome. Angela Barnes and Renata Riddle opened Nobody's Darling in Andersonville in 2020. It's a black, queer, women owned and women forward bar. People are so excited that we own this bar because they can see themselves in us. Uh, PLC folks, queer, queer women of color. Their community based cocktail lounge has thrived during the pandemic and even earned a coveted James Beard Award nomination. We fill a niche that most bars in the city do not fill. In the two years since Nobody's Darling opened, more and more LGBTQ plus bars have closed. Gregor Matson, professor of sociology at Oberlin College in Ohio, is researching this troubling trend. 36.6 gay percent of gay bar listings disappeared between 2007 and 2019. More than a third of gay bars closed in a 12 year period. His data also shows that in 2017, there were 38 gay bars listed in Chicago. In 2019, that number dropped to 34 bars. In 2021, that number dropped again to 26, meaning more than 20% of Chicago's gay bars were lost in a two year period. In most parts of the country, gay bars are the only public LGBTQ plus place. In other words, they're the only place where queer people can reliably encounter other queer people in public. In Chicago, North Halstead is one of those areas, a long time home to many gay bars in the city. But some say most of those establishments may cater to white gay men. As some LGBTQ plus bars close, gay men of color, transgender people, non-binary people, and lesbians may lose out. When you don't have spaces like this, it's harder to find community. If the only bar with a purpose-built drag stage closes, then it leaves drag queens and drag kings without a place to practice their art. If they're doing diverse things, then I get really sad when such a bar goes away because they're special. Matson says the decline of gay bars may be attributed to the growing popularity of location-based dating apps. And another trend, many bars, which may not be listed as LGBTQ+, are now welcoming to the community. <laughs> And another positive, according to Matson's research, 100% of lesbian bars nationwide were retained through the pandemic. However, Nobody's Darling is just one of a small number of women's forward bars left in America. It's been sad because these were places where women really uh, found community. And, you know, when you don't have that, um, where do you go? Barnes and Riddle both hope that their space remains for years to come. You may be wondering if the pandemic had any effect on gay bar closures. Well, according to the study, bars did shut down then too, but it was at the same rate as the years before the pandemic. So Cheryl Allen, this has been happening for a while now, an interesting trend. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.